the sight, sound, or even smell of a delicious tasting food is enough to increase your craving for it. And if you're unable to remain strong and fight through that craving, this can send your calories skyrocketing in a heartbeat. On this week's Nutrition Nugget, I'm going to give you three strategies to crush those cravings. To crush these cravings, we're going to work in 15 minute intervals. Every 15 minutes, we're going to try a new strategy. And I guarantee you, after implementing all these strategies, you can kiss that craving goodbye. So the first one, we're going to get moving. Seriously, if you hit, if you feel a craving come on, I'm going to encourage you to do three sets of 25 repetitions of body weight exercises. Why? Well, when you get moving, that blood flow starts to move all throughout your body and to your muscles. It leaves your gut and your stomach, so there's not much going on there. This is going to also take your mind off of that craving. So get moving. Seriously, three sets, 25 repetitions. Any three exercises. I like jumping jacks, I like mountain climbers, crunches, body weight squats, and push ups. And hey, if you can knock out 25 pull ups, you're a rock star. You probably deserve to eat a little bit. Anyway, after this, we're gonna wait 15 minutes and move on to the next strategy. If you're still hungry 15 minutes after exercising, consider drinking 12 to 16 ounces of water. This increase in fluid will increase the expanses in your stomach. And when your stomach wall stretches, it sends satiety signals to your brain that encourages you to put the fork down and crushes any hunger craving you thought you had. If you've tried exercising and were still hungry, and then you drank a ton of water and are still hungry 15 minutes later, well, grab a handful of raw vegetables. Why? Number one, raw vegetables are pretty bland tasting, and that's sure to turn off that craving you have. But number two, raw vegetables are high in water, which as we just discussed, helps to fight hunger and crush cravings, and they're high in fiber. Fiber slows down digestion, which also sends satiety signals to that brain of yours. And, oh by the way, they offer very few calories. So if you are going to eat something, at least eat something that's gonna help fill you up, crush the craving, and provide very few calories. And if you're still hungry and cannot repress that craving 15 minutes after enjoying those delicious raw, high water, high fiber vegetables? Well, it's been about an hour since you were originally hungry, and maybe it's just time for your next meal. So go ahead, move your next meal a little bit earlier and get munching. And when you do eat that meal, eat it as slowly as possible, and drink lots of water before, during, and after. Thanks for watching everyone. If you think someone will benefit from this video, please tag them, share them, make sure you, you subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I'll see you next time.